You are looking at video 22. As you notice, I got a new camera. Boy, this thing's really coming out nice. I built these down into these sections. You could see the clarity in it of this thing. I mean, it's unreal. Look at that. You could see that screw down inside there and that. He's got all the components put together in that. Here's the other one. Each one of these components is going to slide right together and that as I build it. Over here, as you notice, I have some springs, different types of springs, and different things I'm using for different functions and stuff, and that when I go to build this. It's pretty cool when it comes out now. And then here's some of the washers and the other things. Some of the screws, the washers, different parts in that. They kind of go into it. Here's the, I sorted those out in drawers. Here's the transmission in it. Look at that, how much clearer that is in it. You can see the detail of that thing. Here's another, here's the other side of the sections. Each one of these is, there's like eight sections of this thing in here. And then maybe take a close look at this here. Just see what it looks like. See how it, it's down inside there and that I uh, put it together and that it, it's coming out pretty good in that right now uh, you can see the camera does a lot better I mean gosh look how much better that is with that camera I mean it's a huge difference look at it look at the detail down inside there see how I cut those nachos out down inside there for that you can see the screws and stuff and down in there lettering I uh, as it comes up in that this see how this pivots right here and then there's a screw up inside of there I pull it out by pulling this off of here and then I could flip this around pull that out pull these two screws out and this whole thing comes right on out and when I want to put it back in pretty soon I'm gonna start uh, I gotta put it together first you know and here's the rod that goes against this here I gotta polish that up against some more there's some little tiny nicks if you could see it inside this rod it kind of goes through here and then here's uh, the flywheels and stuff in that. I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to also put a different motor in here later on I'm going to test this one out and then I could see if I could get a, a better one in that to fit in there but th this is coming out really nice I mean you could see how clear these pictures are in that. I mean each one of these sections takes time. There's a lot inside of each one of these sections here. I mean there's a ton of work in that. There's a ton of parts in that. I mean look at this table. It's kind of, let me get back a little bit and show you. Well, the table's kind of cleared off. I mean it, had, it was a mess last time you looked at it. I mean there's a ton of parts in each one of these sections. You would not believe. And there's a lot of combinations. I'm not really worried about somebody copying it because there's you, you got the combinations of which polarity you want to do the magnets, what size you want to, what size of springs you need to put in it, what size of uh, the magnets, how far to put them apart, how to build these lever arms. I mean, you know, you're, you got something, if you ain't got the prototype, you're not going to figure out all those combinations. There's just way too many. It's not like something I could just show you and you could just uh, redo it. And that it just doesn't work that way and that but this camera really brings out everything it also sucks up juice fast too I mean, I mean probably within 10 minutes the probably battery would be dead trying to get this video in here of it but as you can see I uh, improved a lot of little things on that it, it looks good I uh, I'm gonna eliminate these bushings that I got right here. See these bushings? I, I just I'm going to eliminate those. And I'm going to put something in. It's a little better than that. I got these springs right here. Let's come out here. These will these will fit in right where the bushings were. That way it'll be a little bit tighter. There's a lot of drag I noticed. Uh, if you take a look at this right here, see the 
See the drag and stuff on there? I mean, when it runs around there, it, it drags. And you get like little shavings. This, let's see, take a look at another one here. Take a look at this one on this other side of the table. See how that, it's gouging it. It's dragging. It's, it's what's kind of like rubbing in that. So if I put the, uh, the springs in there and I'm going to machine them down and then everything will be, you know, this whole rod will be all like spring loaded in that. And then like these here, see these little springs here? I pulled, pulled the washers off of here and they kind of like move, it kind of pivots where I want. I could also get adjustment right here where I could move this up and down to, to what I need and that. There's been a lot of work too down inside here where I kind of hollowed it out and stuff down inside there to get this coil to fit down in there. So you can see the big difference with this camera. And then down inside here you can see there's a spring down inside here where it uh, it uh, kind of keeps it apart now instead of the bushings. I eliminated a lot of these bushings. These are the bushings I put in between here. I got rid of that and put some springs down inside there. So that'll make that much better. And also over here I got rid of the cap screws and stuff so when this kind of comes up and down let me move I moved the wrong one. See when it comes up and down there's a lot more clearance there. It, it's not going to hit that cap screw. There was uh, a lot of times I got an interference that screw would come out a little bit and interfere with it and that. So I'm going to make that better. You know, I put some extra extra screws on top of the uh, washers on top of washers so I could adjust this. Made that a little better. You know. And I want to explain where I got the idea of uh, it's basically what it was is just a magnet trying to jump up onto a, a top of a magnet. That's where I got the idea of, of this, how, how to build it. You know, if you just take like a magnet and you set it right here, and then you have another magnet here, and as it kind of comes up, it'll, it'll, it'll oscillate as it comes up. You know, I, uh, maybe the next video uh, I could show that a little bit more in that. But uh, this thing's really coming out. This is... Uh, a meter is going to test it with. I'm going to probably get like a digital one later on in that. But this thing is just coming out clear as can be. You know, I can't believe it. It's uh, it's a new camera. It's 12.1 uh, megapixels, and uh, it, I mean, this is just beautiful. The clarity and everything. I mean, it's just unreal. So, you know, it won't be long. I'll be getting it together. How I put this together is I uh, get this rod out of the way and I kind of like put each section on here like this and bolt it down and then each, each section I'll set it like this and bolt it on there and then I'll run the rod all the way down through it and then uh, I, I connect everything I put all the springs down inside of it so that's basically how I have to assemble it. And then I'll be eliminating all these little bushings and stuff here and these here. And there'll be springs in place of that. So it's coming together pretty good now. I'm really impressed with it. I'll just kind of get back a little bit and let you see. But as I do that, and then I take a electric drill and I put it on the end of this shaft here so it it'll feed through here and through there so as I assemble it, it it pushes itself through instead of beating on with a hammer I take a drill and stick it on on the end and then it just kinda of like feeds itself through so this is video 22 uh, the next one it shouldn't take long to put this together but I mean this thing is really coming out nice and I'm really impressed with uh, you know the, the, this new camera I came out, I mean it's just unbelievable. I'll let you go, and maybe maybe next week I'll be ready with it running. I'll let you go. Goodbye.